fuck that! Yeah! Oh, Jesus Christ, woman! <laughs> Put me fucking teeth out! Let me that! Yooch! <laughs> That'll do surely to fuck. That'll These do. These ones aren't as bad. <laughs> Good morning, girls. <laughs> I've been facing hardship recently, okay? I'm having a breakdown. Now, I say this and I'm fully aware that I'm having it. At first I was like, am I? Am I just being a little bit silly? No, 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 no. I'm having a fucking breakdown, like fully fledged as well. I'm all in, okay? I learned yesterday how to boil an egg, how to hard boil an egg and make an egg mayonnaise sandwich. Would you do that if you weren't having a breakdown? I don't know, I couldn't say because guess what? I'm fucking having one. I have taken... <laughs> blow after blow this this past week okay now what i mean by that is i started my period so that's already pretty life ruining pretty awful i i hate having my period okay i wake up every day and i thank god that i was not born a stupid stinky boy but then i have to deal with being a woman and that my friends is tumultuous it is tumultuous okay it's not for me it's not for me and before i got my period i was obviously already feeling a little bit emotional a little bit hormonal you know all that fucking rubbish and it turns out um michael this is this is funny okay because i i acted like i would be so fine and i've literally had multiple you know ew I keep having nosebleeds as well I've got like scabs in my nose ew gross but it's true I'm not gonna lie last week Michael applied for a job um in Brighton and he's he's wanted to move to Brighton for a while he wanted to move with his two friends from uni and I was like yeah do it like go for it I thought that was so exciting I was like encouraging him and I was always like oh my god my eyebrow piercing as well I've had that fucking bruise on my eyelid I don't know if you can still see it if it's still there not really look it's like kind of there it's gone down a lot now but like this time last week my fucking god it was awful and my eye was so swollen i'll try and find a picture it was fucking gross but the point is michael applied applied for this job in brighton and i was like it'll be fine like everything will be fine like i won't even 
care that much not even i won't care like but i'll be okay because like i like my own space and then i'll just go down and see him and it'll be fine but in my head it was fine and then he got the job and now i cry every time i've seen him since i've just cried i look at him and i just stop crying <laughs> it's gonna happen again because i've never done long distance before oh my god please don't start crying jesus fucking wept it's only monday oh my god what is that saying me to that son of a bitch who created mondays i don't know but the point is i i've just been very emotional the past week like very emotional i feel very like stagnant in my life i say this a lot and then i do nothing to try and like counteract it but obviously this is what i enjoy doing and this is like what i would love to do full time but you can't just like i can't just quit my job and hope that it works out do you know what i mean it's just very oh my god god it's just awful and i just oh my god i just feel like shit <laughs> i just feel like shit and my job pushes me to my limits every day every single fucking day i'm pushed to my limits um with just everyone around me my fucking god everyone around me i'm just like being tested i'm always being tested okay and i want to see me fail so bad but i don't but i don't i'm never left why because i'm always right i'm never wrong but good god i've been feeling like shit um but you know what a saving grace the other day oh god my ears just went a bit weird i changed my bedding before work completely forgot that I changed my bedding before work. Um, so I got home from work and I was like, oh my God, fresh bedding. It's the little things. Anyway, I'm seeing my friend Lydia today because, well, I just need to catch her up on what's been going on. And she lives so close to me. So like a weekly yap, if you can schedule it in, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? I have work later today. I really don't want to go though. I'm going to ask if anyone wants my shift. <laughs> no, I'm not because I need money. Like need money because i've got 22 hours this week i asked for full-time hours 30 or more i get 22 now i don't know if it's just me or if i'm being a bit stupid not like me to do that at all um but 22 is not 30 or more if anything i'd actually say it's less so that's grand people want me dead i'm sure of it anyway i need to have a shower my period is coming out thick and fast sorry i know that's a bit gross i don't fucking care you know me girls i don't fucking care also completely random unrelated but i found a bath robe in primark the other day need to go and cop that because obviously i use a towel to dry myself famously that is what towels are for but i found a towel robe and i love the idea of like a little towel robe while i've just got out of the bath not when i'm on my period because it's white disgusting red and white would be like the fucking england flag wait oh and i'm doing that no i'm not that patriotic i don't think i'm patriotic at all i actually fucking hate this country so <laughs> I don't think I'm patriotic in the slightest. Um, I just hate Rishi Sunak. Fucking hell, I've got a big old lump on my leg. Oh my god, I'm dying. And my feet are so ugly. I'm not showing you, but just take it from me. My feet are fucking ugly. I've got really veiny, I've got a really veiny body. Like, my feet are really veiny. I'm, again, I'm not showing you. And I think my boobs are quite... <gasps> what the fuck? That's chocolate right it's time to have a shower that's fucking gross el banco el banco un banco el hospital en el hospital donde está el hospital donde está el hospital donde está el hospital el hospital oh fuck donde está el hospital el museo el museo en la calle en la calle un supermercado El hotel está cerrado. Cerrado. C Pasaporte. Teléfono. ¿Dónde está el hospital? Es él. ¿Dónde está el hospital? Pasaporte. Mi pasaporte está en el hotel. Yo tengo un pasaporte. ¿Dónde está tu boleto? No. So nice. My skin is so bad at the moment. It's been like awful for the past maybe like week, maybe a bit longer. So I really need to brush my teeth. I will, don't worry. My skin is just so bad at the moment. Obviously it's because I'm on my period, so it like, it adds up. That doesn't mean it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's what's right. Um, sorry. 
got the old eyelashes. They're actually, they've stayed very well. What? They've stayed intact very well compared to the fucking last time, my god. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's happened. Normally my skin doesn't react this badly to being on my period or whatever, but I have been picking at it a fucking shit ton. Like, an enormous amount. So, that would add up as to why it's so bad, but that's neither here nor there. I've been fucking doing skincare as well. I'm so lazy when it comes to, like, I don't know, taking care of myself. So I've been doing my my skincare routine or what <laughs> what i'm trying to forge to be a skincare routine and it doesn't fucking help maybe because my skin's not used to it my skin is used to being left alone um apart from me picking it but that's probably why my skin is so bad because i've been picking it to like fucking no end look at that i don't like i have an on and off button what the fuck <laughs> oh god anyway i i've just been feeling so weird girls like obviously i had my really bad funk which fucking hell, we're nowhere near the depths that we went in when that happened. That was fucking god awful, right? Um, and then I had my, obviously I had my week off and this will, this is already like my second week back at work. I say back at work, obviously I only had a week off, like it wasn't anything like fucking crazy. It wasn't like maternity leave. It wasn't like maternity leave. But like, it was still a week off and last week flew by. It also didn't though, you know when you get to like Wednesday and you think, fuck me, it's only Wednesday. Um, but now we're already back on Monday. Oh, that son of a bitch Mondays. I don't know, I just feel like, I think when I found out that Michael got the job, I was filming a podcast episode, it was last Wednesday he got it, I think, last Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, last Wednesday. So, bloody hell, coming up a week. And um, I was just quite like, I didn't really know how to react, I didn't know how to feel because obviously like it's th the thing is i was trying to explain it but like i don't really know how i had therapy the tuesday before so like the day before he found out he got the job and um i was explaining to my therapist i was like look like i, I, I was like, look gil and i was like you know everyone i feel like expects me to be like really sad and like you know not be able to cope with that i was like but, you know i'm happy for him if he gets the job i'm happy for him like he's wanted to move out for a while like he wants to move in with his friends like you know i want what's best for him and i was like plus you know i, I work well on my own and like I, i'll just go down and see him brighton's like an hour away whatever like it'll be good um and then he got it and it just felt like everything like shifted like my whole mentality towards it shifted not in like a i want him to stay way like oh, that sounds horrible <laughs> i don't want him here no like it, not in a i want him to give it up and stay because i don't want him to do that i want him to move out and do what's best for him fucking hell it sounds like i hate him i don't hate him but i'm trying <laughs> i'm trying to explain the best i can obviously sorry just putting on my spf it is quite sunny but it doesn't need to be sunny to wear your spf girls remember to put that spf on stop farting bit on the net never forget the net i always say it but don't do it anyway the point is obviously i want him to go because i want him to do what's best for him and you know this job is good and it's like a fresh start and it's like a new beginning he gets to move in with his friends but to me it feels like it was the same when i had my abortion it sounds like a really weird like link but the reason i was so sad when i had my abortion because it felt like i had to grow up a lot in a very short period of time i felt so like like i'd had like I, uh, before i went through that it was like it just everything felt so like fun and silly like nothing felt very serious it was like we it felt like still being a kid even though obviously i was 21 well, turning 22 22 <laughs> 22 because i was 21 turning 22 obviously i wasn't a child but i still felt very young and it felt like a very adult thing i had to go through so this just feels like that's it <laughs> no more childhood i know i'm not even in my fucking childhood <laughs> But it just feels like no more fun little like, you know, he's not gonna, like, I think it's more so like getting used to the fact that like he's not gonna live down the road anymore. Like I can't just go around and be like, oh, I'm gonna come around for tea or like, oh, let's go and get a jacket potato. Like I can't, like it won't be like that. And he has to stay in this, like this job is a two year long job minimum. So he'll be living away from here for two years minimum. And I won't live with him during this time. Like I'm not moving out with him. I'm, I'm not at all because I'm not ready to move out. I don't have the money i don't have the job like i don't nothing in my life aligns with like what's happening in his life and obviously my job's in hospitality his job's going to be like a nine till five office job our lives are going to be very different and it's just fucking scary like it's just i don't like thinking about it too much but like i feel like something in me has shifted since he got the job like i look at him and i'm like this is like this part of our life is over it's so sad like oh my god i'm gonna start crying oh good 
god where's my eye cream um i don't know it just feels like a huge change and i feel like it also um, has made me really like hyper aware of how i don't know where i am in my life i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i want i don't know anything <laughs> i just feel so lost i guess when something like big happens to someone else it makes you reflect a lot on what you're doing and what you want i don't know it just feels like such a huge change and it's happening so quick like he starts his training for this job today so like even yesterday i was like i couldn't even just be like oh i'm just gonna come and stay around because like he has work today like it's just i don't know and like just i don't know it just feels very like real and like i just feel like i don't know i've never done long distance so i don't know what that's like and it just feels like it will just be two completely different like timelines and i know it sounds all quite dramatic and maybe i sound like i'm being like very dramatic about this but like it just doesn't feel i don't know it doesn't feel real like i was so i so wanted him to get the job i so wanted him to be like able to move out and in with his friends so i was like this would be amazing like you'll have your own space and i'll come down and visit and it'll be fantastic and then i realized that like it doesn't just mean those things it also means like that's it now you're gonna be moved out of your house for the for minimum two years and i'm gonna be here and i don't know how it works like i don't know i don't know it's always just very scary because obviously you don't know what's gonna happen and it's just it's just oh it, i think i'm sad not obviously just these bloody lashes i'm not just i don't know i'm sad because i'm gonna obviously miss him but i'm also like so confused because i'm like what the fuck am i doing do you know what i mean i'm having a breakdown i really want an egg mayo sandwich as well so you can tell i'm not feeling my best oh my god i look so ugly oh uh, what the fuck hey y'all <laughs> look so ugly i'm so bored of being alive bloody hell <laughs> What have you got? Can I see? Oh my god. What is wrong with you? 